Hey there Capricorn and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of January 2023 and we're going to take a look at past, present and near future energies. Also Capricorn, if this reading resonates and you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. Ooh, there you are in the recent past showing up in your power. Also, sorry, Cappy, I'm traveling, so this glare from the light is just driving me bananas, but um, we'll get through it. You've got love on the brain for sure, for sure, for sure. Like, literally, like, I can't stop thinking about this. Okay, so the main energy for your reading this month is the Page of Swords. Lots of doubts, lots of what ifs, maybe, maybe not. There's a clear desire here. You want love, you want to rekindle something, you want to bring it back together. Now, I say you because this is your reading, this could be your person's energy, take it as it resonates. You want this back, but your mind, it's like your energies, your feelings are being pulled in the direction of let's have this back, let's rekindle it, let's bring it back. Your mind is coming in with all the doubts and the what ifs and what if I can't and what if it won't work and what if this and what if that. Not super positive what ifs. And we'll see exactly why your mind is kind of going on overdrive here. So in the recent past, you get the star, the devil, and the ace of cups. You really, really want a brand new beginning in love here. There's somebody specific that you have in mind. It may be a, what do I see here? We see Cancer, Scorpio, and also Fire Sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Those are showing up strong for you. Um, oh, and Aquarius as well. You definitely have a desire to rekindle this, to have a new beginning in love, to bring this back in the recent past. You want it so badly, you literally can't think of anything else. It's like, you know, it's kind of like a song, every breath I take, you know, that one, that's all you could think about. You think about it, you wake up with it, you go to sleep with it. Like it's literally all that you want is to have a new beginning in love with this person in the recent past. In the current situation, you get the death, the ace of wands and the queen of wands. There was an ending. So that's why I said there's a specific person you have in mind. You and this person had an ending. It was a painful ending. It was a difficult ending. And now you want this back. So you want this back following this ending. Um, and this person, the way you're looking at them, they're like beautiful, radiant, attractive. Like you're looking at them, you're like, oh, that's the person that I want to be with. Now, in the near future, you get the King of Cups, the Chariot, and the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody here is evaluating and assessing whether or not there's still love available here, or is it time to move on? Can we move past whatever happened and move in the direction of love or not? And this person's really, really weighing it out. So let's see, let's take a look. I'm gonna start off by clarifying the page of sorts for you, which is the main energy for your reading this month. Page of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. You get the Ace of Cups again in the recent past. Look, you do want this new beginning in love and you're willing to do whatever it takes to make it happen, okay? You're willing to come in, open your heart, apologize if need be. Like you want this new beginning in love more than anything. You really do wanna make it work. And I can see that you want this with the person that you have history with. Because at the bottom of the deck, you're showing me the 10 of Swords, which is letting me know that you and this person had a difficult ending. Following this ending, you're like, I want this back. I want to have a new beginning. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. But your mind is coming in and being like, well, Capricorn, are you sure? Are you sure you can do it? But what if you can't do it? What if this person's not interested? What if they've moved on? A lot of like, what ifs. But what I do like seeing about this Capricorn, you're willing to do what needs to be done to make this happen, to make your desire for a new beginning in love happen here. Let's take a look at your recent past. I'm going to start off by clarifying the star for you in the recent past. The star is clarified by the devil, which you get again in the recent past, and this is your energy, the strength, and the ten of swords. It's hard for you. Like, you know exactly what you want, and you get the lovers at the bottom of the deck. You and this person, like, you view this as a soul connection. You're like, this is my person here on earth, 3D world, 5D world, all the worlds. I want this back. I want a new beginning in love with this person and following this difficult ending. Now, not only do you want it, you want it so bad you can taste it. Like 
it's like you can't think of anything else you can't you're just obsessively almost like thinking 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 i want this i want this i want this i want this what can i do how can i get this what do i do what do i do what do i do you literally cannot stop thinking about this it is almost like this person put something in your drink and like you can't think of anything else you can't think of anyone else you don't want anybody else like one track mind for sure here um this energy this is like crazy mad in love and like i want this back i will move hell and high water to like um make this happen let's take a look at the devil in the recent past for you and this is your energy because you are a capricorn so for the devil you get the hangman ten of cups and the death you get the death again in the current situation you're stuck you want happiness with this person you want it more than anything right like you're showing me if i could get this person back if i could get this connection back it would make me so so happy not just like oh cool like legit happy 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 the problem is you're stuck and the reason you're stuck is because you're like i want this i want this but and the but is but things ended but things are over but you know things stopped between us so here in the 3d world y'all stamped it as done over broke up whatever energetically you're still very much connected but the reason you're not taking any action at least in the recent past is because you're still kind of like in that energy of but it's done but it's done but it's done but you want it but it's done you know let's take a look at the ace of cups for you in the recent past Ace of Cups is clarified by the Tower, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you want this new beginning in love. You do. And when you're able to think of having it, you're like, we can do it. We can make it happen. You know, it, it's, not a pro, it's not an issue of like, will I be happy if I get this? It's more so an issue of how much am I going to have to do to make this happen? So you're showing me like, I want this, right? I want this, I want this new beginning in love. I will literally burn down everything to make this happen. You're very determined, I'll give you that. However, you know it's not just gonna be smooth sailing. There's gonna be some resistance. Now, I don't know where, where this resistance is coming from. It could be from your person possibly pushing back and just not welcoming you back with open arms. It could be that, you know, you don't know if you can make it happen. Whatever it is, there's some resistance here standing in the way and kind of pushing back on your desire to make this happen, to have this, to rekindle this connection, at least in the recent past. Let's take a look at the current situation. I want to clarify the death for you in the current situation. The death is clarified by the Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Wands. You're taking small steps. You're showing me, look, I, oh, and you get the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Wands again in the current situation. You're like, look, I know that there's some resistance here, but I want this. I want to rekindle this. I view this connection as some of you may have been married, but for those of you that weren't married, you're like, we might as well have been like, that's how deep this connection is. And you're showing me like, even though things ended, even though here in the 3D world, we considered it done, I still want this and I want to pursue this. And it's like a fire within you. So you're kind of starting to take small steps towards making this happen towards making something happen and what I do see here it's almost like a train you know how when a train starts moving it's like very very slow small chugga 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 that's the energy in the current situation you're slowly slowly like chugga chugga chugging towards getting this connection back towards rekindling it towards getting this relationship this marriage if you will um, back in your life let's take a look at the ace of wands in the current situation for you and again, for those of you that aren't married, you might as well have been. Like, that's how deep this connection is. Ace of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Swords, Six of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. You are the King of Pentacles to me. I don't assign gender to my cards. It's clear. You're crystal clear. You're like, we're going to get this back. We're going to move past the difficult energies. We'll leave the past in the past. We'll move into a much better direction. Like, there's no doubt in your mind. In the recent past, there's a little bit of like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? In the current situation, you're like, we're doing it, we're doing it, let's do it, I'm doing it. Like, the, the, one track mind, there's nothing stopping you on this trajectory. Um, very determined, very confident as well. I kind of, kind of like this energy, Cappy, I'm not going to lie. Let's look at the Queen of Wands in the current situation for you. 
Queen of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups. You want to communicate with this person. You really, really want to communicate with this person. You want to talk to them. You want to open up. You basically want to cover all your bases here. You're like, look, let's talk about anything and everything. I don't just want to keep this surface level and just be like, hey, how are you? What are you doing? You're like, no, no, no. Let's talk about it all. Let's talk about the love we have. Let's talk about what ended us. Let's talk about the good stuff. Let's talk about the bad stuff. Let's talk about the painful stuff. Like, let's talk about everything. I want to completely clear the table, open up, and just literally lay it all out there. Um, because this person is very important to you. And not only that, like having that deep open dialogue with this person makes you feel emotionally stable, emotionally fulfilled. It's almost like through this communication, you're getting your emotional needs met. And you're also getting a lot of clarity for things that were confusing to you. So I don't know if you guys ended things on like ambiguous terms, if things weren't clear, if there was some confusion, if there was some things left up in the air. I don't know what this is for each of you, but you're showing me, look, let's talk about it all. I want clarity, transparency. Like I want completely like talk about every single freaking thing so that we wipe the slate clean, we get it all out there and we're both feeling good, emotionally stable, emotionally balanced, emotionally fulfilled. Like that's what you want right now. I'm digging your energy in the current situation, man. This is, this is nice. Let's take a look at the near future. I'm going to clarify the King of Cups for you in the near future. Oh, okay. Okay. I usually only get three cards, four came out, so I'll take four. You get the Ace of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. So for the King of Cups in the near future, you get the Five of Swords, Four of Swords, Nine of Wands, King of Wands. You're very, very confident on the surface, okay? You love this person. You really do. And you want to heal things. You want to fix things. You don't care how much resistance there is. You don't care how difficult it'll be. Like none of that faces you. But the way you're approaching the situation with this person, you're coming in with a lot of bravado, a lot of confidence, almost a little bit cocky. So instead of coming up to the person and being like, hey, my person, you know, I was thinking about this. This is how I feel. I, I still miss you. I still love you. You know, all of that. You're coming in with an energy more so of like, hey, what's up? How you been? I'm good. Let's get coffee. You want coffee. I want coffee. Let's get coffee. It's that kind of an energy of like not really wearing your heart on your sleeve, but a little bit more coming in with like flashy bravado energy. But the reason you're doing that is because that's kind of your defense mechanism. That's your way to kind of approach the situation and just be like, you know, if the person rejects you, at least you didn't completely expose yourself and put your heart on the line and then you get rejected. So you're kind of wearing this like mask of confidence, of cockiness. You're wearing it almost as like a shield, right? Because underneath that, you have a very soft underbelly. And your soft underbelly is you want this person back and you love them. You have a lot of love for them, but you don't really fully know where they stand. You don't know if they're going to reject you, accept you, like what's going to be happening there. And so that's why you're kind of like, look, I'm going to do it but I'm going to do it my way. And your way is to kind of put on a little bit of a mask of, you know, I got this, I'm good. Um, but your desire underneath is beautiful. The desire to heal is here. The desire to fix this is here. You're just a little bit guarded and a little defensive because, you know, you don't want to get rejected here. Let's take a look at the chariot in the near future for you. The chariot is clarified. Wow. Major arcana galore. The chariot is clarified by the sun, the fool, and the judgment. Yeah, you want to move towards happiness. You want to take a magic wand, wave it, completely wipe the slate clean. Like, you're like, look, I know what I want. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Like, you've made up your mind. You've made your decision. And in the near future, your soul is kind of catching up to that. It's like here in the 3D world, in the recent past, in the current situation, you've made up your mind. You've decided. You've started taking action. And in the near future, it's like your higher self is catching up and like, okay. Cappy ain't playing around. Let's go. Let's go. Like it's that kind of an energy. Um, and I like it. I like seeing it. And it makes you happy. Like this is almost like your soul is like, whoo, yay. Like this is, this is really good positive energy. Moving past the past, moving past the difficult stuff, moving in a good direction. I like it, Cappy. I really do. Let's take a look at the seven of pentacles for you in the near future.
Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Swords, the Emperor, and the Two of Pentacles. You're a little bit confused. You're a little bit confused because you're showing me your person. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries. Your person's not, um, they're not really revealing much. They're keeping their cards close to their chest and that's kind of throwing you off. You're determined. You know what you want. You're like, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Your person is meeting you. Like, I don't feel like there's any rejection here, but your person's not just like welcoming you with open arms and being like, Cappy, yay, come back. No, your person's very stoic, very cold, very... Um, they're also putting on a bit, a bit of like a front of like, well, whatever, you know, I don't care, do whatever you want. Like they're very cold, but it's not because they're not interested. They are. This is just a mask for them, but their mask, their cold front, like you're coming in like a hot tornado of like, let's do this. Let's make this happen. And your person's kind of like this ice cold wall. It's kind of throwing you off a little bit where it sends you into an energy of confusion of like, whoa. Did I misread this? Am I am I about to get, you know, played? Like, what's going on here? So it's throwing you off a little bit, but I don't feel like you're going to be confused for very long. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Cappy. <clears throat> Excuse me. From the universe, you get the Two of Swords, the Tower, the Call, which is the judgment in this deck. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna get clarity on this, okay? And it's gonna come out of nowhere. You're in an energy of confusion. You're like, oh, what do I do? How do I do this? And then bam, just like you're confused, just like you don't know what to do, that it, the exact same speed, all of a sudden it's all gonna flip over and you're gonna get that realization. You're gonna get the clarity that you want. Um, and it's gonna be very, very surprising. It's gonna literally come out of nowhere for you. So don't worry. You're not gonna be too confused for too long. So, Cappy, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped and gave you clarity. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you here on the next one.